Hi guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to say a huge Merry Christmas to you all. It's officially Christmas Eve as I'm recording this, so it's the exciting day tomorrow. Yeah, I just want to hope you all have a really nice day, even if you don't celebrate Christmas. Let's roll the video. Woo! Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing episode 3 of Building My Town here in Bloxburg. Today I have two new builds for you. As you can see we have the daycare behind me and then at the other side of town I have added a park. So I'm going to get into showing you the park first just because it's outside and I don't want it to get dark. There's also these little bus stops I've added around town. They're not in the speed build. However, I'm going to link the tutorial to them down below because I follow somebody's tutorial and I didn't think it would be fair for me to do like my own tutorial on them when they're not my like designs. So I'm going to put that tutorial down below but I've added a couple of these around town. I think they're really cute. And as we're running over to the park, I'll show you I've added some little like uh, zebra crossings, some little signs, we've got some stop signs. I've also added some mailboxes around town and just some little like dust bins, you know, keep our town nice and tidy. And then let's head into the park. So this park is really exciting. I really like how this has turned out. So over this side, I just have like um, a jungle gym, I guess they're called. So we just have some monkey bars here. And then over here we have like a little playhouse kind of thing. And I really love the fact that these, um, I don't know what they're called, like coat hanger kind of thing. You can actually climb up them like a ladder, so that's really, just like a nice touch on there. It's kind of like a climbing wall. Um, it's not the best looking thing, I mean, it's got little spikes all over it, but it does the trick. And then we just have like a little ladder up here. I've got all these like little ways to get up to the tower. And then here we just have like a fireman's pole. Very cute. And then in the middle of the um, jungle gym, I've just put a little sand pit. And I've just used some trash cans as like buckets and we've got some toys to play with in the sand. It's all very cute. I really like how this has turned out. And then over here I decided to add a little ice cream parlour. Um, just on the side of it I put some trash cans. Um, and then yeah, it's just a simple little ice cream parlour to be honest. I wasn't really sure how to design it. I just put these snowflakes about from the Christmas update because they're nice, nice and icy. Thought they'd be quite cute and then we've got a little trash can here. And on this side of the ice cream parlour, I just have some little tables where people can sit and enjoy the ice cream. And then if we head inside, I'll just quickly show you. Down the back, I've just put these like um, storage shelves. I weren't really sure what to put back here. And then in the actual ice cream shop, we've just got two big fridges. I've put some blenders. Got the little ice cream machines, of course. We'll make ourselves a cheeky little ice cream. Yeah, it's just very cute. I really like how the park has turned out over here. And then let's head back over to the other side of town. I'll run up this way just so I can show you the other mailboxes and the other bus stop over here. I think I have one up there as well. Yeah, I've got one behind the school as well. I've just got a bus stop here outside what is going to be the supermarket. So if we head back up here, this is my daycare centre. Um, at the moment, I've just used some like generic um, decals for the sign. I'll eventually make my own. But this is just the, um, the daycare from Toy Story 3 or I think it's Toy Story 3 was right, I don't know, but it's, it's the daycare from Toy Story and let's head inside the daycare, this is like such a cute build, I really like how it's turned out, I'm just going to eat this ice cream so I'm not just carrying it around everywhere, yum yum yum. So if we head, I'll just show you the corridor first actually, so I've just got a corridor here, I've put these like cubby hole kind of things here because I remember when I was in nursery which is what we call kind of called daycare in the UK um, they had like a little shelf where you put your coat and stuff on at the start of the day so this is kind of what I wanted to replicate here so I've just got one on each side and then through this door here this is just the bathroom so we've just got lots of colourful sinks down here we've got some soap some nice mirrors I've got a bit of a cold at the moment so I'm a little bit nasally guys but it's fine um, and over here we just have some little signs about washing your hands which you always have in like schools and then these are obviously the little cubicles I've done one each colour so they're very very cute it's quite a cute little toilet to be honest alright let's just close all of these doors and then if we head over into this room this is just like a little dining room I guess um, where the kids can eat their school dinners so we just have a kitchen where the teachers can prepare the food and then just the little tables where the kids can sit and eat their lunches. 
and then I'll show you the back actually whilst it's still light. If we head out here, this is just like the cute little playing yard for the kids. So I have a sand pit here again, just a smaller one with some buckets and some toys in. And then I just have some like cones they can play with. Uh, and just some little toys spread around here. And then this is like my favourite bit. This is just a cute little playhouse. So in here I just have an oven. And then some like cups and cupboards and stuff. It's very cute. I used to love like uh, toy kitchens when I was younger. So I definitely wanted to have one in this build. And let's head back inside and head upstairs. So coming up the stairs if we go this way. We just have... A little nap room because when you're in daycare you tend to still be at the age where you have have naps I mean I'll still have a nap now and I'm way older than being in daycare but yeah so this is just a cute little nap room I've got some books about this was inspired by Amberie's daycare I think because she had like a little nap room like this and then I just have a rocking chair here where you can just sit and read books to the kids as they're going to sleep and yeah it's just a very cute little nap room and then over here this is, I guess, like the classroom slash playroom, I guess. So in here, I just have another little kitchen area. I really like kitchens. Um, I went to a little kid's house the other day in here, the little plastic kitchen, and I was just playing with it, and they're so much fun. I can't wait until one day I have kids and I can get a little plastic kitchen just for me to play with, not for them. I just want an excuse to buy one. Um, here we have, like, a little toy ironing set and a washing machine we've got books everywhere and then this is where we've got some building blocks like i had in the toy shop and then this corner over here is just like a dressing up corner so we have like lots of dressing up outfits we've got some toy makeup and a little mirror area it's all very cute i am very happy with how this build has turned out to be honest guys so yeah that is the end of the tour guys coming up next is the speed build for these two new builds if you want to stick around and watch that you can if not that's completely fine but please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see me build here in Bloxburg. And thanks again guys, bye!
thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video guys i really do appreciate it please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and comment down below any other ideas for what you'd like to see me build i still have a lot of buildings to fill up in this town so any ideas for that are appreciated thanks guys bye Mwah.